um, maybe in the afternoon, right? Because um, these came in to, they, these came in yesterday. Um, my buyer is in uh, Kenya, but he's flying down here tomorrow morning. His name's Shezi, he's flying down here tomorrow morning and he's taking the stone, it's as simple as that. They're gonna fly in, they're going to pay you, they're going to leave. When you have more stock, you call them. If the buyer is interested, he's going to pay you and he's going to leave. It's just the way the business works. So when people say, oh my gosh, no, it's dangerous. It's dangerous when you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And most people don't. You see, a lot of people get into an industry not knowing. And it's the same as trading. A person will get into an industry not knowing what the fuck they're doing. And then they'll come and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I made, I made 200,000 today. And then tomorrow, you've lost double what you made. So did you really make the 200,000 or did you lose 400,000? And in regards to that, you actually lost yeah. 400,000. Because you had 200,000, let's say you took 200,000 to make 200,000, you've made, you've made 200,000, you've got 400,000, you then lose 200,000, what have you really made? You understand? But those consequences come into play when you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Okay. You get me? Makes sense. So yeah. when, if I, if like, like, let's say I got into, let's say right now I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to start selling cars over the borders. I'll make an example. I don't even know where to start. Right? I don't even know where to start. And if I'm going to venture into such a field, I need to have some kind of knowledge. You, you understand? Going forward. Now, diamonds and the game is really easy. You don't really need the knowledge. You just need the communication skills. You need to get the diamonds and you need to have reliable buyers. Okay. You get me? Yeah. Reliable cool. buyers. Cool. Where uh, Marco, is, yeah. So I, I feel like that was actually informative in terms of the diamond, but I, we, I'm interested in forex, but I don't understand the forex, you know, mm. I feel like that's different industries, you know, um, okay. I, what is it, forex, what, maybe now what is it, in okay. what is it that you want to, okay. What is it that you would like to know about forex in regards to the industry in general? Yes. Thank you, mm. and I'm glad that you asked that question because I'm just here, and I'm sure even others are here because you guys are forex traders. That's why there's so many numbers. They're not really interested in a lot of things, but they just don't understand how you're making your money using forex, right? Mm. And I know okay. there's so many things that you guys do, but there are stigmas that are also in forex. So I want you guys to talk about these stigmas. Uh, the is it legit? Like, what is happening? Why are people hating? Why do you guys go around telling each other that that one is a scam? That is it? There's how always going to be. That's how you guys run like yourself. Uh, mm. No chill. There's always going to be haters. Be, 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 I've said this be before. Specific. No chill. I've said this before. Be, be, There's always be going to be haters. Always. Be, so be specific. Who goes around telling what they are scammers? Who? Who said what? About bro, another bro, one. Bro, there are YouTubers who just go, Ndamus, like, Ndamus is not DJ coach this, uh, Marco this, and D Ndamus this, and this, and this. Is, is it Who's saying those to... things? Who's bro, saying many, those things? Many people, many people. Who I feel are, like it's a stigma. Those I'm people, sure you bring them here. I get we are here. I want them to say it in our face. Who are those people? You must understand, you must understand one thing. You must understand one thing. Regardless of the industry we're getting into regardless of the field you're going to venture into you're going always going to have that one person who talks bad about the next individual why because you must remember that there's insecurities as an individual you understand yeah. you feel you feel you, you feel undermined you understand so when this takes place right your mindset automatically needs to develop a sense of understanding in regards to making you feel better mindset wise yeah. so what you do right is you make other people right in your industry in your circle in your field whatever the case is right feel rather shitty about themselves just so you can feel a little better about yourself as the individual yeah. so you bring them down because it somehow brings you up Bro, I, I need to talk to you guys on my podcast, both of you guys. I, I feel like I have so many questions I want to ask for me, you know, for me. And regardless of 
white people are thinking. I have, I have a lot of questions. I would like to be a forex trader. I want to do it, you know, because I, I think I can afford to get into the market, but it's just, just too many information. So I believe you guys can help me somehow and also other people at the same time. No, 100%. But yeah. you, you, you must remember, you must remember that most people want to get into this industry because they feel like it's a get rich quick overnight exactly. scheme. And it's really not. Exactly. That is That's when you lose money. Yeah. And that is when in, in any business, greed, once greed overcomes and overpowers your ability to understanding, you will lose money regardless of the business. When greed overpowers your understanding in that business, yeah field you will lose money within that business and any other business you get into greed is one of those things that will continue to just bring you down you might think oh my gosh i'm i've got power uh, you get more and more greedy and yeah. sooner or later the greed then brings you down you don't see it coming you don't see it coming because it's too late but when you're too greedy right yeah. The greed overpowers your mindset. Now you think that, you know, you're the future. You start turning um, heads and uh, start looking at people differently. People start feeling undermined. People start feeling intimidated. Next thing, greed gets you killed. Yeah. No, I feel... understand? Greed, so you're saying people yes. who are making noise are the people that don't really know the game. No, but you see, that's the thing. Majority, and I'm going to be real here, majority don't know the game. Yeah. Let's be honest. I've challenged majority and all they can do is come at you and be on, yeah, uh, why, why do you need to prove a point? But you're at me trying to prove a point, trying to bring me down. What am I supposed to just let it slide and be like, oh yeah, no problem. You know, yeah. do your thing, you know, spit all over me, stamp all over me, trample all over me, right? Yeah. Throw me into the dirt and let the next person do the same thing. Of course not. Of course not. And I've got your, to a point your, of, your industry forex trading is like intense, bro. Nah, it's not. It's intense. It's not. It's not intense. Do you know why? Because yeah. some of us only entertain such at our spare time. The reason why I'm live now is because it's my spare time. Yeah. They talk every, every day. So that is the difference. I will never stop doing what I need to do uh, just to come entertaining the most or whoever says what. I do it on my spare time and I, it's for it's entertainment. When the life ends, I go back to my life and I forget that I was ever talking about mm -hmm. this. So, oh, okay, it, it, cool. It, and I'm, listen, sorry to disturb mm -hmm. you. And I'm glad that you said that. Most of you guys, because that's what Namu says. He's saying, I'm not like that in real life. I'm just being, I'm giving people what they want. Yeah, yeah, so Ndamu is he's known for just saying whatever. And I think that's a brand that works for him. Yes, yeah. so he's going to do that. So, and and yeah. if you post pictures of houses and cars, that's you. You're going to keep doing that. Is exactly. That and you must, you, must, you must remember the most important thing, uh, most important thing that we need to address. Yeah. Uh, People have what we call entitlement over success, successful people's lives, right? I'm going to give an example yeah. of the entitlement that I'm referring to. Yeah. Um, people always want to dictate what you should say, what you should not say, right? Yeah. And giving an example with me, I was what we call a feleb. You remember that era, I'm a yeah. feleb on Facebook. Facebook yeah, yeah. I've, I've had likes and whatnot around 2013 or so, right? So what I'm trying to say is, ever since then, I've been a social media person because I love technology. Yes. I've been posting, right? And from the moment I had Facebook from like 2010 or whatsoever, 2012, I don't remember, I've been doing what we call posting my reality, right? Yeah. And my reality was I was never going to post a G-Wagon or an RS7 if I did not have it. That is why you cannot find it on my timeline. Now, yeah. as I'm working progress, as I'm moving, I'm posting my current reality. Now, people feel entitled that when we are posting our reality, therefore, we are bragging to them. I don't know what's so special about you that I need to impress you. I mean, yes. whether you know or not, whether I have what I say I have, what will change in my bank tomorrow? Yeah. What will improve? Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So, poor people are so entitled 
to an extent that they think what we are doing is about them. Mm -hmm. I've been yeah. doing what I'm doing now. You oh, see, you when I post, too. yes, I'm yeah. speaking about me. I yeah. posted a picture today chilling with a Jeep SRT. I have a picture back in the past chilling in a shack. Yeah. I have a picture yeah. chilling next to the tree because there was nothing that I could yes. post. It was my reality. So now I've worked hard and I'm posting my reality. Now, what I don't like is the entitlement that people think when I post a picture next to my car, therefore I'm trying to break to them. Who, are, who the fuck are you? What mm. do you like, Graham? It's my reality. You understand what I mean? Yes. So poor people are not just poor, got a bank account, even mentally. Mentality, they are mentality, in jail, mindset. They are poor from bank balance to mindset. To an extent, Tahore, they think whatever that you are doing is about them. It's about mm. me. Yeah. No chill. I didn't come on earth. I came on earth without my permission. Therefore, yeah. even when I die, I will not know that I'm dead. You understand? Mm. Yeah. I'm making sure that every moment that I'm able to live my life yeah. the best way I know how, I'm going to do so. Fuck what they say. You understand? So now, now, what I just don't like about people who speak of our industry, they think that when we are doing the postings, it's about them. It's about them. You are not them. that special. You are hey. not that special. Whether you come into my life or not, I've made money before you. 2017, mm. nobody knew me. I've been posting. 2016, I've been posting. 18, yeah. I've been posting and I'm still going to post. So when you think I'm posting because I'm trying to impress you, you can unlike and block me. And then we will see tomorrow if I'll still not drive the RS7. Yeah. We'll see tomorrow if I'll still not live where I live. We'll see tomorrow if I will still not make money on the market like I do. You understand? So it's, it's black people who are poor who are speaking about our industry more than we do. In mm. the foreign exchange industry, we have a few. It's actually one trader that is the most that talks about everyone. Literally. Can I just, can I just, butt, can I butt in there quickly? Yeah. So, what I've realized, what I've realized as an individual that's been in multiple fields of workmanship and multiple fields um, in regards to um, just ventures and, 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 and getting, 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 getting my fingers burnt, what I've realized is it all comes down to the mindset. When you've got a poor mindset, and I want everybody to understand this, when you've got a poor mindset, no matter what you do, right, the the reality and the outcome will always be poor. It will be negative, always. It will always be negative. So when you have this negativity to you, it is stuck with you. It's almost like a curse. Yeah. You understand? It's almost like a curse that's going to stay with you until you, yourself, as the individual, decide to better it. But if you're not going to better yourself, right, if you're not going to better yourself, then you are going to continue to hate and people are going, going to continue to react to your hateness, right? And they're going to then bring forward hate and the energy is just going to get worse and worse and worse. It's almost like they're throwing a curse and the curse is just getting stronger and stronger and it's holding you down for longer and a longer and a longer period. Sooner or later, you won't be able to get rid of that curse. It is going to be a mindset that is stuck with you until forever. Yeah, let me, me just add on that. Uh, no chill uh, on what uh, Marco said about mindset and negativity. Yeah. Right? I'm yes. going to give you a practical example. Go on YouTube right now. No chill, right? Yeah. And you search DJ Coach. You're going to find DJ Coach exposed. RS7 repossessed. What, what, renting. What, 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 what. You, that's what you're going to find. Ne? Yeah. And I've created companies as it stands right now. Right mm. now, I've hired over 65 people, and it's not a secret. Yeah. You'll never even find one single video that says DJ Coach is hiring people. Mm -hmm. Negativity makes noise. I can give you 100,000 if you find that one video. You will never. You understand? And that, should, that, that already shows you mm. how poor people think. Yes. You know, you can, I, I give e wallets almost every day if I'm able to on WhatsApp. This month only on WhatsApp, I gave away already, I think about 13,000 already. And I'm going to be giving uh, uh, 10,000 before the end of the month. Count that, it's going to be about 23,000. Almost a minimum of 20,000 every month on WhatsApp. Nobody will do a video about that. 
saying DJ Coach is giving back to the community. But that's a on Facebook, mm -hmm. I do first to comment. Instagram, I do first to comment. I give people money when I'm able to. You'll never even find a video saying DJ Coach is giving people money. No, but what that's a thing. What you'll find is mm. RS7 repossessed, DJ Coach mm. this and that. You know, that's that, what, I, I mean, I lost respect for all the broadcasters and YouTubers when I've realized that there's nothing positive that they want. When you do donation, they don't care. They don't want that. Yeah. They, they don't want where that's you a, help. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. going to say, that's a thing. Everybody sees, you see, what I've realized in this industry is the minute you make one mistake, they will remember that mistake until kingdom come. But the good that you've done in the industry, they will not remember. Do you understand? Never. They will not remember. Never. And again, and again, it's a mindset. It's a failing mindset mindset you understand it's a failing mindset when you are possessed with a mindset that only generates negativity and remembers that as an outcome right when you don't remember the positive things that this industry has brought forward right it is once again a mindset and the thing is that people don't understand how how deep it gets because sooner or later sooner or later this mindset starts to overpower your own thinking your own acknowledgement over you as an individual, who you are, you know, what you stand for, it all gets overpowered, you understand? And people start to see that. And then when people start to see that, right, nobody wants to be around that type of energy and people move away from you. And that's when you realize that, you know what, wait a minute, I'm starting to lose friends. And then you're like, yeah. oh no, maybe God's, maybe God's taking these people away from me. No, 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 no. God was bringing you a blessing, right? That is not turned into a curse. Because you don't want to change how you think. You get me? You don't want to change how you think and your understanding going forward, right, is going to be a burden on your shoulder. And that's what people don't want to understand. People never want to understand that, listen, the energy you're giving out is the energy you're going to receive and continue to receive. You understand? And 